All right, hey guys. I just kind of wanted to make this video to talk a little bit about what's going on in my head. First thing I want to talk about, I do want to say I have some new music on the way. I know it's been a little while since I've updated my SoundCloud and that's for good reason. My SoundCloud is, you know, a, a representation of like my diary of my life off camera. I talk about a lot of things that happened off camera. I talk about a lot of like issues and problems that I've gone through from depression to suicidal thoughts to issues that I've gone through throughout my life that I, I hope that like in some kind of way can relate and you know impact the listener. With that being said, you know I've gotten a lot of questions on, on like why I've named myself Net Nobody on SoundCloud. It's a really simple reason. I just want my music to be heard, but disassociated from what I do for a living. I know how like I'm a YouTuber, I play Minecraft, I play gaming things, it's like this, this, this stuff that I do. Unfortunately, I feel like not many people will ever take me seriously as a musician or as an artist or as a whatever I am because of my history of like what I do. And like, I mean, you hear a person going like, oh, like a Minecraft YouTuber is making music now, or well, midlife crisis or something like that. It's not even that I just necessarily want to be taken seriously. It's just that I want people to like understand who I am. There's two people here. There's Sky and there's Adam. You know, when I first started Sky Does Minecraft, it was very, uh, very s simple. As it went along, I kind of started to develop this Sky character because, you know, it's like everybody has an idea of some person that they want to be and everything, and I started kind of losing track of myself in this. I know YouTube, a lot of people say is like just such an easy job and it's so like oh you just play video games for a living but like it's not like that for me anymore i've been around for so long and i don't even mean to sound like egotistical or like big-headed or anything i can literally never go back to being adam the days in which you know a friend would come over and you know sit down and play freaking mario kart with me in my parents basement will never happen again and the reason why is because you know there was two there's two things that happened with this you know whole internet life i wound up becoming really 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 successful we were at three 0.5 billion views, I think, on Sky Does Minecraft in total. Closing in on 12 million subscribers. Again, by the way, I'm gonna be the first YouTuber to hit 12 million subscribers twice. I, I feel like it's, it's gonna be hard for me to be taken seriously. My life has changed so much to the point where with YouTube comes a lot of money and popularity. I was always that kid in school who really didn't have many friends, who was kind of just to himself and like nobody really wanted to talk to. Lo and behold, Five years later, everyone's hitting me up. They're my friends now. They want to talk to me. They want to see what I'm up to. All of a sudden, you know, all these, these snakes start coming out of the woodwork. It may not seem like it, but like I, I've, I have had a lot of crazy crap happen off camera. And like some of it I'm not allowed to talk about, some of it I am. But the best way I can describe it is just like, the bigger you get, the bigger the target on your back. And the, the more likely people are going to like, try and screw you over or like, pretend to be your friend to get something from you. You're just surrounded by a lot of fake people. I wanted to go buy something new because I want this to be a different chapter of my life. I don't want it to be associated with what I did to get where I am now. I'm not saying that, you know, I dislike my content or, you know, I dislike everything that I've done, because I don't. I think I made a large impact. I think I, um, I've been doing it for so long. I don't want to bring that over to the next thing that I want to do. It's going to be very difficult for people to take me very, like, very seriously because of this and because of, like, where I started and what I did to get where I am and how I, you know, met the people that I met and met the the artists that are working on my, my music and helping me with my music. I want that to be a different chapter. If I continue to always just base my success off of the things that I did in the past, then I won't ever progress and that's not what I'm really interested in. And I want people to listen to my stuff unbiasedly, you know, not, not listen to my things and go like, oh, remember New World? I know New World. I know the New World memes. Okay, I, I see them. They're good. I like them. Subscribe. Give, give me more. I'm gonna remake New World, and then I'm gonna make everybody go like, damn, I was actually pretty hot. But it's not, it's not gonna be the same lyrics. Come on. I'm not playing mine, mine, Minecraft again. My life has changed so much from this whole thing, from the point like, I, I have to change phones all the time because my phone numbers get leaked. All my friends' perspectives of me changed because now I have money and now I have 
popularity. As much as I, I don't like want to sound like an egotistical douchebag, I'm on a different social class at this point now. People look at me and they come over to my house, they hang out with me, usually what happens is they'll say things like, oh my God, did you see what he had? Or did you see the stuff that he had? Or did you see that, that thing? That's why I started selling a lot of my stuff. I sold a lot of my cars. I sold a lot of my collections of other things that I was collecting. I've just started selling a lot of things because I just don't really care too much about it anymore. I stopped dressing up. I used to buy a bunch of designer clothes. I was very egotistical and I was very like full of myself. And you know, I've had a reality check in the past couple months and you know, I've calmed down. I it's the past year or so actually. And I've calmed down quite a bit. I'm always wearing sandals now. I'm always chilling here in my Levi jeans and my shirt. As cliche as it is to say, I do long for the times in which things were a lot easier. Before I was looked at differently, before, you know, people would come to my house and steal my mailbox, before family members started stealing money from me, before, you know, people only wanted to talk to me based on my numbers. That kind of shit me up pretty bad. I'm really over it, if that makes sense. Like, I'm really over, like, the whole popularity thing. I enjoy the fact that you guys listen to my stuff, and I'll always share my stuff with you guys, because you guys have always been there to support me. But at the same time, too, I want you to understand that, like, a lot of the time, you get people who, who sit here and they say, like, oh, he there, he's only doing it for money, oh, he doesn't even like Minecraft, oh, he's just doing this for cash and, and all that crap. You're not wrong. I'm gonna be completely honest. Money is fucking cool. I can get so much shit done with money. I can get so many of my dreams fulfilled with money. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say like, oh yeah, I mean, it's not about the money. It's always about the money. Every YouTuber you watch, it'll be about the money. No YouTuber sits here and says, I wanna be a YouTuber, but not make money doing it. And I'm not saying, you know, there's people out there whom, don't, don't get this twisted because I know this, I'm gonna receive a lot of shit for this. You know, people do YouTube for their own purpose, to enjoy themselves and to produce content that they really enjoy. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that any YouTuber, if you could tell them, like, hey, at this point in time, you can make money doing what you already do, doing what you love, and, you know, it'll be dope. No YouTuber would sit here and say, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't think I want to make money. Like, I don't think I want to support myself doing it. And back in the day, when I was doing YouTube like nine years ago, people would shit on you if you accepted money or if you partnered your channel. They would call you a sellout, and now it's like if a person is putting ads in their video, they're a sellout. It's becoming generally more accepted, the fact that, you know, this is a job for people. With Sky Media being a company that I, I put together, I'm not gonna sit here and say that, like, I didn't put this together with some kind of financial idea in mind. Everybody wants to make sure that they have security and everybody wants to make sure that they have something that they can look back on that they created. And you know, everybody just wants to be remembered. It's been hard. Running a business is way more difficult than making videos out of my, my basement, that's for sure. Can I say that I honestly would have ever done anything differently? No. I enjoy what I do. The only thing that I can honestly say with 100% transparency that I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that it's just so trend oriented. It feels like, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree with me, it just feels like Minecraft is just rehashing other people's shit always, like constantly all the time. Like there was a whole spurt on YouTube for a long time where people were like doing Five Nights at Freddy's crap in, in Minecraft to like, it's always in Minecraft. Like the whole Minecraft, I feel like mapping and gaming community where they used to make like original shit is very dead. I can't really tend to find a lot of new shit that's being made from like modding and you know map makers. I actually can say I, I really truly enjoy. And I don't know if it's that I'm growing out of the game. I can honestly say that though, like with 100% transparency again, I don't like it as much as I used to. And it comes from my personal perspective of the community, my personal perspective of the, the people that I've met in this community. There's still a lot of really good people in the community, but it's just, there's more money grubbing, hungry people. And the reason I can say this is because I was one of them. I was one of the people who were just like obsessed with money when it was happening to the point where it's just like, yeah, I can do what I like to do and make money doing it. But at the same time too, it's very meme shit. Like I'm 24 year old playing Minecraft, like what the hell? And like I said, I, I don't think the game is bad. I just think that the community is very toxic. I think that as a community, y'all need to get your shit together. We need to get our shit together or I don't really see this lasting much longer. I miss the days in which, you know, everybody in the Minecraft community was on the come up and they were very 
into collaborating, very into like knowing each other, understanding who we are as people. But now it's like if you're collabing with someone, it's all about the numbers or like how much you make or it's just kind of stupid. I know I'm, I'm pretty hypocritical for saying this, but it's just something that weighs on me. And going back to like the original thing, that's kind of one of the reasons why I don't really want to be associated with the brand that I've created through Minecraft and through gaming with my music. I want them to be two separate entities. I want them to be come in with an open mind, listen to what I have to say, and read my musical diary. You feel me? Yeah guys, I do want to say as always, I appreciate the support you guys show me constantly through everything that I've been through, through all this crazy shit that's happened in the past couple years, from like exes to friends to all this crazy bullshit that just doesn't make any sense and feels like high school. You guys are awesome. You should feel awesome. Stay tuned, and I've got some pretty neat shit cooking up. So we'll uh, we'll catch you later.